Minister of Designs and thank you so much for joining in today. I am making personalized wine glasses using my Cricut Maker and heat transfer vinyl, the Caesar brand. Okay, and so this is the Easy Weed Caesar brand. It is called Electric and this is their blue. I am also going to be using heat transfer tape as well as a regular standard iron. And these are the irons that I use in my sewing studio. And so today we are going to use it to adhere the heat transfer onto the glass. And so what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna cut down some of this transfer I have some excess here and so I'm just gonna cut that down because it doesn't need to be all of that nothing extra do we need and I'm going to uh, put heat transfer tape on one end right here and then I'm just going to uh, use a glass now for these glasses to clean these glasses I just used a standard soap and water a dish detergent that is all right, and so I didn't use any kind of um, denature alcohol or rubbing alcohol or Windex or anything like that. All right, and I'm just, you know, just kind of pressing my finger in there just to kind of get it to stick. And then I'm going to take the other tape and adhere it down like so. And then I'm going to take the iron and I'm just going to uh, put the iron on each letter. Okay, and so my iron is on linen, the cotton linen setting, and I'm literally just going to go just like that with each letter. And so I got to tell you a story. When I went to Dollar Tree, I actually bought four glasses, and uh, I said, um, you know, let me just buy four even though I only need two just in case I mess up and I thought well Candia how how could you mess up it, it there should be no messing up you you've done this you know not on expert level yet <laughs> yet um, but you've done this um, quite a few times where you shouldn't be messing up especially on glasses well I've never done this on glasses before and even though the uh, process seems the same it is not what I attempted to do was I attempted to uh, put <laughs> the wine glasses inside of the uh, mug press because my thought was, well, it's the same width. You know, a mug is about this size um, in regards to circumference, so it should work. Well, if you think about what the mug press is meant to do, it is meant to apply pressure to the uh, mug. So it could either sublimate whatever image you are putting up there or <laughs> uh, adhere um, heat transfer vinyl under, you know, extreme pressure. Well, the glass is not meant to withstand that. And so I learned that very quickly. Now, it didn't burst on me or bust on me, but I got to tell you that once I had the wine glass inside of the mug press, I knew instantly that this was a bad idea. And so it was unsuccessful. So if any of you are thinking about putting a wine glass in a mug press, uh, maybe I'll find some uh, footage and show you that it's not a good idea. You will struggle, uh, it will shift, it's just not a good idea. All right, and so let's see what we got here. So now that, yep, that feels really hot. Oop, yep. A little bit too hot okay and um, I'm just going to now put that on the real heat press just so it's really up there and I'm just gonna roll it and I'll show you what I'm doing I'll, uh, I'll move the camera so you can see exactly what I took it over to the heat press to do okay and so after applying this to the iron let me just see if I can get a closer look so you can see exactly what I'm doing. I was going to take this and just pretty much, just pretty much roll that, uh, that personalization onto the platen because this platen is super hot. And so the pressure that I am applying is coming from my hands. Super hot. Okay. All right, and so now I want to reveal it and see how does it look. 
All right, and so, let's see. It's still a little hot, but not too bad. Okay, and so, I don't know if you can see that. I'm taking it off and it's perfect. Perfect. I don't know if you can see that. I love it. All right, so let's do the other one. 